Hello, I'm back again. I'm Pastor D with Broken But Heal nonprofit public organization. Welcome to my mentorship class where we talk about abuse geared toward domestic violence and those that have survived it. So the last time I came, I came to introduce the class or the channel to you. And we were supposed to talk about some of the signs, the early signs of abuse. So I'm going back for a minute so I can go forward. And so some of the signs usually it don't always start out with just somebody hitting you. It starts off with intimidation. Intimidating. And everybody is different. So every person is different. So some people do some different things. So some people in some situation, I'm speaking from a woman's point of view. And so... Only men can speak from their point of view. And I'm talking about a man that's been abused by a woman. Okay. So a lot of times when you're in a relationship with a man and a man is an abuser, a lot of times they will isolate you from your family and friends. Um, they will, and, and this is not one fits all because every single abuser does not do this, but a lot of people do a lot of men that abuse women do do this. They will isolate you from your close loved ones, um, where you will be totally dependent upon them only. Um, another thing is just some, some subtle type of things where, um, certain things may be spoken to you to tear you down emotionally. So then you will develop low self-esteem. So it might be something said about your looks or your body or things may be said like nobody loves you but me nobody um you can't be with anybody else but me nobody else is going to appreciate you or whatever the case may be that's being spoken so that you will believe that this person is just everything and without them, you really can't succeed or make it in life. So, and a lot of times this, this comes or a man may do this with a younger woman young girls, teenagers, um, or older women that are not what they used to call up on the game. And men will use mind control, a manipulation, and they can make you feel one way like you are the greatest gift that they ever received. But then when they get angry, it can become very scary. Because you'll see a whole transformation. And so it's very easy to do this with a young girl, because when you think about a young girl being innocent, don't really know anything about life or some would call naive. 
have not lived, have not experienced life. So basically, she is green. And so you you put in somebody, an older guy or a grown man that is experienced in life and pretty much now he is turning her out while she's being turned on to him and now looking to him and loving him. But he has a whole nother motive in his heart and in his mind because she will be one of many while she will be stringed along to think that she is the only one and this special one she will be one of many of the women that he will manipulate and end up abusing so some don't come right out and just slap the women. Some of them start out very subtle with words, tearing down a person, tearing down whatever they are doing in their life that's positive or tearing them down physically, emotionally, cursing them out, saying things, very negative things to the point where this woman begins to believe what the abuser is saying. Now, remember this, at this point or this state in life, she does not see him as an abuser because she can't see. She's blinded. She blinded by love. And don't get me wrong, because love covers a multitude of faults. And that's what the Bible says. But when you love somebody that really don't love you, they say with their mouth, I love you, but their actions show that they hate you. But you're so wooed. You are manipulated. You're under a spell of mind control. And you are going off what they're saying instead of accepting the truth of what they're showing you. And so therefore, you don't see them as an abuser. And your mother, your sister, your aunt, your friends, your cousin, everybody else may see it. And they're telling you. This person not good for you. But you don't believe and you think everybody don't like them. But they see what you can't see because you're blinded. It's nothing wrong with loving somebody, but it's a terrible thing when you love somebody that don't have in good intentions toward you. When a person loves themselves more than they could love anybody else. They don't even know how to love. And so this is why, or this is how they're able to now run this manipulative game. And you are just hoping that it work. You in this dream state world. It's nothing wrong with dreaming. It's nothing wrong with wanting to have a happy life and a happy relationship. But sometimes you end up in the wrong relationship. And so this is how it begins. And depending on what type of man you wit determines how as to how fast you go from just being called names to actually having hands laid on you. I want you to think about it. And if this is you, and you're in a situation right now where you're seeing this happening, I'm going to tell you, you better run, 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 run for your life.
you better run. And pay attention because if you don't, you will have nothing but regret if you make it out. I love you. Until next time, join me here again at Broken But Heal Not-for-Profit Public Organization, where I am the founder, Pastor D. God bless you.